Hello everybody, it's John the Parts Guru from Overnight Parts from Japan. Today we're going to do another open box review video for the Manly Performance Pistons for the Mitsubishi 4G63. All right, let's begin with some of the basic data. We have Manly Performance, part number 6060000C-4 as the base part number for this piston set. We have them available in 20 and 40 over that you can order automatically online. And if we scroll down, you can see we have the entire Manly Performance part number, compression ratio, and size list. Uh, which goes all the way through their 100 millimeter strokers. Let's focus on the simple pistons that we have today, which are 20 over Manly Performance Pistons, which is this part number right here, which is a eight and a half to one compression ratio with a Mitsubishi DSM, or it's a nine to one compression ratio with the Evo eight or nine cylinder head. That goes for the same all the way down their list, in case you wanted a higher compression piston for E85 or E98, something of that nature. They have them categorized in stroke, so most of your 2.0 builds are going to be on this list, and your 94 millimeter is kind of odd. You need a special length connecting rod. Um, you don't have to. They show that you can use this here. Um, but most other options are going to be the Stroker build, which uses the 4G64 crankshaft. Anywho, I could make a whole video just on Stroker setups for the 4G63, but that's for a different time. Today, we're going to talk specifically about the Manly Performance Forge Pistons. So, let's open up a box and take a look. Okay, we have part number 60605C-4, Manly Performance Pistons for the DSM 4G63 7-bolt engine. These are a 20 over, which would make them an 85.5 millimeter. Uh, they are also 8.5 to 1 compression. You can also buy the Evo uh, piston set, which would make this same engine a 9 to 1 compression ratio on the chart. So. These uh, have a tab here that needs to cut when you open a brand new box, knowing that these are brand new, never opened. Uh, something that they do to these pistons, so you know. Here we have the rings on top. I will put a link to the rings uh, in the description, so you can order just one ring pack if you happen to break a single ring. You actually have to buy a whole ring set of uh, for one piston. Also, the clips come in this quantity eight, but we can get those in quantity two if you can use them. This is the Manly Performance spec sheet, which has the piston uh, diameter and bore size for the machine shop. Also, the ring gap factor, which we can go over a little bit that later. These pistons I'll put on the micrometer for you, and we're going to get an actual outer diameter uh, in thousandths, along with the actual bore size you should have in thousandths, too. So let's look at some of these up close now, finally. Now this is a forged piston that has been CNC cut on the CNC machine, and it has a chromoly skirt which has the Manly logo nicely placed on it. Very nice piece. These are good for roughly a thousand horsepower. Um, they do make a turbo tough piston line now, which if you were running over 600, 650, we would recommend you jumping to the turbo tough series piston along with the turbo tough series rod. Uh, these are their classic forged piston uh, that work great with the H-beams. They come with individually packaged wrist pins, which are 22 millimeter in diameter. Okay, so now I want to measure the 
outer diameter, which ends up being three inch, 364 thousandths and three tenths, which I will put that number on the screen and in the description below. Now, what I want to show you is how you can read in tenths on this micrometer. I'm going to be showing the base numbers here, which is 3.364. But you have to tilt it sideways and match up these sideways hash marks. And that's going to give you the reading in tenths, which in this case is between a 3 and a 4. And I'm having a hard time seeing it with the camera on and it's showing the camera. It's hard to see on the lens. You can hear me mumbling. So yeah, you have to have a really good feel for how to um, get this just right. You don't want to pinch it with the micrometer. Um, and there is a placement spot where you want the micrometer to touch when you're tightening it. It shows on this uh, sheet here, towards the bottom, gauge point distance. Um, other than that, we want to see here that our coated skirt is three and a half thousandths for the piston to wall clearance. Um, that's going to make our final number 3.3678. Uh, which I scribble down on a piece of paper um, and I'll, I'll show you that here in a minute, but I'll have this all in the description below. So here are the final numbers in inches and um, I do not put them in millimeters. If you're in need, you can convert it online. Also, I'd like to say that the room temperature right now is about 70 degrees. We keep the office temp right, right at 70, if you were to be comparing back home. So again, I'm checking these hash marks. These have nothing to do with the piston. I'm just literally getting ready to do this job and hone these to size, so we wanted to make sure we had our piston and wall clearance correct. Anyways, that is our open box review video for these Manly Performance Pistons. Uh, we hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at onpfj.com or email us at sales at onpfj.com. We're we'll happy to get you a good price on a set of manly pistons.